Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So, you know, I'm wearing this uh, cowboy jersey because I've been a cowboy fan since the 70s. And, uh, you know, uh, if you watched the game yesterday, you know, we got annihilated. And, you know, and so, you know, wearing a jersey today for like a, a metaphor, you know, as children of God, we're going to come up under attack and, and things are going to be hard. But, you know, we don't give up. Just like I'm not giving up on my team, I'm not giving up on God. Because, you know, what we have coming, you know, in the second death is, is far more precious than anything that you could ever, you know, have on this earth. You know, a lot of people, you know, care about, you know, the first death. But the second death is the one that you need to really uh, pay attention to because that's the eternity. Because you don't want to spend eternity you know, in hell, you want to spend eternity in heaven with God. And, you know, one thing about truth, you know, it doesn't really matter whether what you believe in. If it aligns with truth, then it has power. But if, if what you believe doesn't align with truth, then it doesn't have any power. So make sure your beliefs align with truth so you run with that power. You don't want to be powerless. You want to be powerful. And there's only one, one way to be powerful, and that's with King Jesus. That's with God. That's with love. That's with the Holy Spirit then you have that true power, that power that would never leave you, that power that would be with you, uh, no matter if, if, even if you're living or, or you're not living. Praise God. So, you know, get that eternal power. And like I say, the only way you get that is accepting King Jesus and moving in love. And that way, you know, you can su survive that second death and, and spend eternity, you know, and with, with love, peace, and joy, and, you know, with God and with King Jesus. And, you know, you don't have to... Uh, suffer but you're going to suffer if, if you're a child of God you know and you're still here on this earth but don't give up on God just like I'm not giving up on my cowboys you know but uh don't give up on God don't give up on team Jesus team God and uh you'll be a winner praise God that's what I was led to today this is revelations uh two uh starting here at nine I know about your suffering and your poverty but you are rich we're rich if we choose, you know, to follow King Jesus and follow his teachings and accept him, accept his sacrifice. Uh, we're spiritually rich. Praise God. I know the blasphemy of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they are not because they, because their synagogue belongs to Satan. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for 10 days. But if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. Whosoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death. So, you know, uh, that second death is what we need to pay attention to. But, you know, if, if we're children of God, we don't have to worry about that. But if you're not a child of God and, and you're a child of Satan, you need to be worried, you know. So, uh, but you, if you still got breath in your body and you're watching this video, you still got a chance. Because it's all it takes is a decision. And then just start, you know, going through the process. You know, and God, you know, will give us what we need to get through that process. But I'm here to tell you, you're going to have, you know, people of this world coming against you. If you don't have people coming against you, you might want to check and make sure what team you're on. If you if you say you're a child of God and no one's coming against you, then uh, you might not be a child of God. Because if you'll notice, all children of God have people of this world coming against them because we stand up for the light. We stand up for truth. We stand up for love. And we help. And we, we don't hurt people. We help people. You know, but, you know, if God tells us to fight, you know, we'll fight because we're fighting against Satan, you know, when God tells us to fight. So, you know, we'll just follow whatever command God gives us. And, you know, mostly, you know, we want to love. But, you know, there's been many stories in the Bible where we've had to fight. So, you know, but God prepare us for whatever we need to do. Praise God. This is the synopsis. The church in Smyrna, uh, Smyrna was the closest of the other six to e Ephesus, and it was experiencing similar hardship. The small Christian community was suffering from unrelenting oppression by Satan and his evil spiritual forces. Like I say, you know, if you're a true child of God, you know, you're going to be attacked by Satan, you know, and his children and, and, 
and the spiritual forces, you know. But they still can't beat us because we, we come by the blood of Jesus. There ain't nothing stronger than that. There ain't nothing stronger than love. So make sure you come by the blood of Jesus. Make sure you rolling with that love and you won't be defeated. But, you know, you will go through some suffering. But that, you know, when you look at that suffering from a higher point of view and, and you learn, you know, you choose to grow from it, then, you know, it, it's, it's all good, you know, even though it feel bad because we all going to suffer anyway. Make, make, just make sure it's some good suffering, that good pain, not the bad pain. Praise God. You get something out of it. Because a lot of us go through unnecessary pain, but we don't have to. You know, we can turn that pain in, into something positive. Praise God. Uh, John's vision reminded the believers that their perseverance through dangerous times would be rewarded with the crown of life for their faithfulness. So be faithful, y'all, no matter what you go through, no matter what it looked like. You know, that's where faith is so important, you know, because it can look like the, the worst situation, you know, you've ever been in. But just trust God, you know, put your sights on him. Make sure you're attached to the vine and you'll get through. Praise God. Because I know there's been many a times that you've been through things and you're like, how am I going to get through this? But you got through it because that's because God got you through. God will never leave you hanging. He'll get you through, but it'll happen in his time, not ours. Praise God. We, too, are called to persevere through the tough times as we entrust our lives to God and obey him he will slowly transform us he'll transform us y'all but we have to keep our sights on him even if you take your sights off him you know because none of us are perfect just put your sights back on him uh, God he's still there he's still there y'all praise God at Christ's return we will receive new bodies and cleansed hearts completely new lives so get that new life, y'all. There's only one way to get it, and that's through King Jesus. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you, and have a very, very blessed day. Bye.